Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Sinez and welcome back to the final video for the Gold Zero generator and the solar panel. Um, recently I bought a Gold Zero generator which is the 150 Yeti and then also the other one is the solar panel which is num uh, Gold Zero 7. And then after that when I bought these two, um, I recently did some tests right away from the recent videos before, you can actually watch those ones. I did some tests for like the DVD, TV, game console and then the outlet wall. The, um, they all did. They the performance is, is great. That's one thing. That's the um, the final option. But now um, the the next one is how long it'll last and also what um, how far it'll charge up with the solar panel to the generator. And right now what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to waste the electricity, waste the battery life up to down to sixty percent. And I'm using my own light bulb, light bulb, which is seven watt. And after that, um, it did took a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, I had to like add another appliance, which is my laptop, to charge up my um, battery. It did, but uh, went down perfectly. But anyways, back to the other other thing. Um, when I bought these two, I had to do some homework too about it. Um, the gold, the Yeti Gold Zero, Gold Zero Yeti 150. The 150 represent as how much watt it is. It's about 150 watts, as it showed or as it named and the boosting upward which is like the power up uh, if you think about it, it's like 150 watts and then it boosts up to it'll boost up to 300 watts and then that's how far it has to do Rings, it, it did perform very well of um around my around the house I, I live in it was really great and it performed very well it helped me out during during the blackout and after that um also recharging some of my appliances, which is my laptop, uh, which is kind of okay. It kind of like um, boosts it down a little bit more, so to speak. So you'll see it a little bit later on, right here in the in the clip. But yeah, um, and also a solar panel too. I did another homework about it. Um, come to found out that um, I bought a well, I bought the one that's a little bit less watt. Um, the number seven represent as seven watt. So I got the battery I got the solar panel that is 7 watts per hour and the result it was not that great um, when I test out during um, outside in a cloudy day um, it was I did this for the past two weeks and it's just that it, it, it didn't actually progress it upward you have to leave it out there for the p more weeks or maybe a month uh, to maybe that, that's the idea uh, leave out for four weeks maybe that's the only that's the only way but you cannot use the generator to um, use your devices such as my light and charging my laptop because they do drain the battery right away and after that when you're trying to charge it with this little tiny solar panel it's not that great it's just very slow charge because it charges up and it can only go up to seven watts an hour it doesn't like it's not like right away you have to wait for it to actually fully charge and then you can actually use it later on and when I think about the solar panel and the generator it's not that well I want to say that it's, 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 it's not that bad it's just that it's, um, it's too much money out of your own pocket because if you want to like charge a generator right away you have to buy another you have to buy another gen you have to buy another solar panel uh, which it costs another a lot of money off your own pocket and or if you want a generator that lasts a little bit longer and you want this to charge up um, it's going to cost another money again so uh, I would say well actually for me I, I would love to buy another generator that's great because I, I, it did help me out through the blackout and it did help me out with appliances the only problem is just that it's the solar panel that is um, very expensive for every type of um, products for the solar panel because there's a lot of solar panels I've seen. There's like ones for like two, three, four solar panels that's a small little um, carry or that is like compactable. And then for larger ones, which is the um, the hundred watt or the um, seventy, I think it was like around eighty watts, a hundred watts, hundred fifty, and two hundred. Those ones very are very expensive to actually get. Now you have to like get off your own money, so that's the biggest issue right now. And also it, it does cost a lot of money. And also um, doing the cords too, you have to like get some of those as um, two-way cords that you can actually plug in one single cord into your generator, and also you have, and then it connects two 
um, connectors, which is the female connectors, connected to the solar panels, and that way you have twice the power. But again, it still costs a lot of money. Um, it's not that bad. It's just like I said, it's just uh, it'll it'll run you dry from the money to actually buy more products. But um, I love the generator and also the other. I will get another generator again, which is not that bad. But there is another way you can actually like um, um, bypass this, bypass, well actually bypass it, is the thing. So I'll let you guys see the result of this entire video. It is five days I recorded, and after that I recorded it afterwards for the next two weeks. Or actually I stopped recording, sorry about that, to, for the confusion. I did this one for seven days, I stopped recording two days, and as I continue on the next few weeks it did jump up um, a few percent. It's just that it was really, really slow, so that's how far it goes. So, hope you guys um, watch this uh, to see for yourself. So. Okay, sorry about the um, the long clip video uh, image clips of these two generators, but um, yeah, the final result for these two the generator it, it was great. The solar panel I wouldn't recommend it because it's seven watts unless you unless you use it for other purpose. Um, but yeah, um, it depends on your taste and what you're looking for. And then for me, I was looking for something else much more uh, generators I wanted to try, such as these two, which is the 400 and also the lithium. These two are great because they are a little more higher than I anticipated. And then and the other thing is I do have my own solar panel, so it's okay. So now I got two solar panels, which is great. You can I, I can actually charge them with my I can charge my phones with them. Which is okay. I can charge my my phone, my little generator. Now, there is other type of devices out there that you can actually charge a generator faster. Um, you can actually use a solar panel, the windmill, do a combination, a battery station, anything else that you have to do. But you have to like do a lot of uh, homework, like these ones, for example. Um, I went to the um, um, uh, lumber store. Uh, this one's from the charger supply store. I took some pictures of these these type of various items I had to look at and then um, I did like a lot of math and then figure out which one I need to use and which one just does the performance. But it depends on what type of um, devices you have that you have to like um, charge it up. And that's, that's the biggest issue I have right now. Um, right now I do have a little bit of less appliances so far, which is the light and the um, my little laptop. Those ones does create a lot of electricity. But you can actually still do more research to actually get more um, get more power into your own home. It depends on what type of how many appliances you have. Um, for example, is my brother. Um, he has a lot of appliances. He has some like TVs, um, refrigerator, microwave, uh, vacuum cleaner, computer, and then um, charging devices that he has. And that's a lot of watts that he has to produce. But you can still minimize some of them here and there. Um, like I said, you can actually get a um, portable solar panel charger. You can actually take it outside and just charge it up and that's it. You're just done. Um, it'll charge up right away in one full day. And then the other ones, um, you can actually use a battery station, uh, solar panels, and also a windmill that can make a that can actually create a lot of electricity to power those uh, type of appliances. But it depends on how many um, you have running on all the time, such as a refrigerator, um, microwave, little toasters, anything else that has to like, use a lot of electricity rather than using the one from your TV and the um, and, and entertainment stuff. So that's the biggest issue. Um, for this conclusion, it's just like you do a lot of homework, math, and then know what what's the limits you have so far. And that's what I have to do right now so far for me, myself too as well. So hopefully this is the final result and this is the final video I have to do. And I hope this is very entertaining for you guys. So, like it, share it, and also comment about your own theory too as well. And also comment down on your own feedback of what you think about the um, these type of stuff. And depending on what type of generators you have, what how well it performs, etc. And so forth. And also, um, what's the pros and cons of this uh, of type of um, appliances and also uh, uh, type of appliances that will affect your power sources. So. Hopefully this is a good journey so far that we have tested out, and as I hope you guys enjoy it, and also also that you um, get the idea of how these um, type of stuff has to work. So that is all. Peace out.
and have a great day.